Hey, my name is Travis Love. I post every Monday with book-related type videos. Today it's a book review about Breakthrough by Michael Grumley. It's about a group of scientists who create some software that allow us to communicate with dolphins. From there, we kind of learn a bit about how they act, what they think about us, and, you know, other sort of stuff like that. In the meantime, the Navy loses a unmanned underwater vehicle and kind of requests the help of this group of scientists to use their dolphins to find this vehicle. And in the process of finding this vehicle, they find something huge at the bottom of the sea. I give this story a B. You know, the story was good. The pace was good. I liked how the author utilized, you know, believable technology in order to communicate with the dolphins. Uh, you know, a smart type algorithm rather than trying to invent some fanciful or, uh, you know, mysterious technology from aliens or something like that. I also really like how the, ex the author explores the idea of communicating with the dolphins. You know, um, like I said about the story, you know, what the dolphins think about us and, and you know, the, the type of behavior that they exhibit. Uh, you know, do they love, you know, how how do they, you know, co communicate with each other? You know, that sort of thing is, is kind of interesting. What I didn't like about the book was it felt like there was a bit of an agenda that they were kind of trying to push around uh, the whole climate change type thing. And it's a very touchy subject as it is, and I'm really not interested in books that try to uh, push any sort of agenda, whether it's one that I believe in personally or one that I don't agree with. Uh, you know, I kind of think that, I mean, I guess that's kind of a hard thing to leave out, um, but it's just something personally I don't care for. The other dislike was there was an event, a pretty big event that happens um, towards the end of the story that is so just unbelievable in its origin um, it, that, um, you know, even how we solve that problem, you know, is unbelievable in itself, that it just made the whole thing seem a little far-fetched. Um, that's kind of why I downgraded the story from an A to a B. It's kind of lucky I didn't downgrade it to a C because of that sort of unbelievable element. But, um, you know, I, I figured it's really not that bad, you know, that it deserved a C. So I, I, I pretty much stuck with a, a, a B. The narration I would also give a B. I kind of like now how books are kind of dramatizing a lot of their audiobooks, you know, rather than having a person just read to you what the book says, they really kind of add effects and background atmosphere to kind of amplify the overall uh, ambiance or atmosphere of the story. And so in a particular instance, there was a woman that was speaking through a radio and they actually kind of added an effect to the voice that made it sound like she was, you know, yelling through radio. And it really kind of added to the experience of the book. So, you know, I really enjoyed that. Overall, I give this book a B. I was actually quite surprised based on its ending that there is a second book that's out there called Leap. Because of that, I'm looking forward to reading this next 
uh, book in the series. It'll be interesting to see what they come up with to kind of continue the story. They really wrapped it up quite nicely in this book. So, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that they were able to create um, another kind of, um, you know, story to uh, to to go off with uh, when it when it we're talking about communicating with dolphins. All right, so that's it for my review. Uh, thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Don't forget to subscribe uh, as I will be posting or at least trying to post every Monday with a new video. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, or any of the major social media sites that are out there. I'm also on Patreon. You know, I'm on a limited income, so it's really difficult for me to afford buying, you know, audiobooks, since that's my only method of reading. So if you you know, really like what you see or really want to just help me out, that'd be great. Just follow me at patreon.com slash Travis Love and, you know, drop a couple of bucks. That'd be really awesome. If not, your subscription is great. Even your view is great. You know, I really appreciate everybody, you know, taking their time to watch my video and listen to what I have to say. So, Thank you very much. All right, so until next time, keep living between the lines.